Alrighty, hello YouTube and welcome to another tech unboxing. Today we are reviewing the XL Van projector. This is a 1080p 60Hz projector right under the $100 range of prices. Um, so this is a very cheap projector, but if you're just getting into projectors or you want to test this projector out um, or you're looking at buying this projector, this is the video for you. Um, before we get into the video, I am going to say already buy it. If you can find this for under $100, this projector is a great budget projector. Now, before we get into the video, I do want to say enlightened on that. Number one is what do you want a projector for? And I want you to keep that in mind while you're watching this video. Um, do you want this as your daily movie projector? Um, are you going camping and want a projector? Is this for watching the football game on Sunday nights? Or are you looking at buying a big TV and you think a projector is going to be the option? Uh, we're going to try to answer all those questions in this video. And hopefully that can give you some ideas if this is the projector for you. So let's get into the projector. Uh, very nice looking projector, I will say. It's got a lot of vents on the sides. Um, on the front, we actually have right underneath here a little um, a little pocket, we'll say. Um, that slides out and there is a little piece of foam there. Um, that way it ensures that no dust or cat hair or anything will go into the projector harming our lens or the motherboard. Um, we got our RI scanner here because this projector, unlike most, does have a remote. Very lovely feature um, right there. It's a very nice looking remote, very thin, um, almost looks like any other TV remote. It's got a power button for the projector, very helpful so you don't ever have to touch the projector um, once you have it placed wherever you're going to place it. Use the remote, boom, easy, no messing with the settings. Um, also makes easier access to the settings by the menu button right here. Click on that or source if you're going to change your inputs. Um, so if you want VGA, HDMI, HDMI 2, boom, click it, you're there. Um, very easy. And then volume button. Um, only thing I don't like about this projector so far is the volume. Uh, it's got some little built-in speakers. Uh, I believe it's just two on the sides. Um, the sound isn't great. It's really quiet. Um, the other thing is there are no mounting holes on the project on the projector itself. So if that's something to think of when you're getting a projector is where you're going to place it. Um, to ceiling mount it, you'll have to get like a plate and set it on it because there are no screw holes or a rivet to um, mount it. Um, let's go to the back of the projector. We have our power cord. We have VJ input. Uh, another thing, we do not have a 3.5 millimeter audio jack um, for audio out. So when using audio, this red cable here, this is our RN. This is what we use for connecting extra speakers. So if you have a soundbar or anything, keep that in mind. We have two HDMI ports, very nice. Um, that way you're not switching HDMIs all the time. Two HDMI ports is plenty. We have two USB ports. Uh, they're just the regular USB ports, nothing fancy about them. And then we do have a VGA down here at the bottom. And then another cool one that I haven't seen before on a projector is a TV input. Um, so if you have cable or something, you can plug that in. And then you can watch your big game on Sunday night. Um, let's go to the top of the projector and show you what buttons we have. If you don't have the remote with your system, we have our power button. We have our arrows to guide you through the menu. We have a hamburger for the settings, a source button. The first wheel is how you focus the lens in and out, and then the second wheel is your tilt. So if it's like this on this wall, or like this, you want it flat on the wall, however you want to view the projector. So, that's what the projector looks like. 
I'm gonna turn it around for you. We're gonna turn it on with the remote. Very nice looking lens there too. Um, very professional looking projector. All right, we're gonna aim our remote at the projector. Should be around there. Top, you can see it flashing red and blue. Right up, no problems. The fan is a little loud, but it's not distracting. Um, if long as you have your music playing or audio, if you're watching a movie, um, I'm gonna show you the lens. Now remember, this is not a Roku projector or a smart projector, so you can't cast your phone to it or anything. So right now, at the back of the projector, I do have my Roku stick. They're only like twenty bucks. They're a great purchase. Um, into the projector. And then anything that really connects to HDMI or VGA will connect to this projector. So if you're wondering, can I play my video game system on this projector? Yes, you can. Now, I don't know precisely for how long, but I have tested it with the Nintendo Switch. And it worked, no problem. So as long as you have your Nintendo Switch plugged into your docking station or maybe any other game console... It should work. Now, again, I'm saying should because I do not know for exactly every console, but that is a big question because I know with some projectors, um, higher grade video quality and game consoles don't always work. So I wouldn't quite categorize this in the gaming projector scene. Now let's go check out this picture. All right, here is the loading screen to the Roku streaming device. Um, right now I'm about 10 feet away from the projector and we have a 7 foot um, picture by about, I want to say, 5 feet um, horizontal and vertical. Um, very big. Um, I will say if you're having this in your bedroom like I do um, for a bedroom projector, it looks good. Um, it's not too bright, it's not too dark, um, some of the blacks, um, you can kind of see just like real part, my camera will zoom in, uh, it's black, there's some purple, some blues, we'll do a color test and show you what it looks like, but I'm gonna go ahead and play one of my videos and show you what the picture quality looks like. Alright, so right here we have our channel popped up on the projector through our Roku streaming system. Uh, again, if you don't have a Roku streaming system, definitely get one or an Apple TV. Um, Amazon Fire Stick will also work. They're all great little um, things that way you can have access to YouTube, Netflix, and your other streaming sources. So here is our channel popped up. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Or if maybe that's not the name at the time you're watching the video, it should be. Um, either way, whatever channel you're watching this on right now is the channel to subscribe to. So right now we have. Team Helix, Team Helix, go ahead and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Alright, so we're going to just play one of our videos. I'll show you what the speakers sound like um, off of the projector. Alright, so right here, one of our latest videos we're going to play. See how long it takes to load in. Alright, here it is. Right now, I'm probably about a foot away from the projector. Um, I'm going to go up closer now, that way you can see, um, I mean, hear what the audio sounds like, um, because it is pretty quiet. So, as you can hear... It's not bad audio. It's not anything crazy, but like I said, um, especially turned up or watching a movie, um, you still hear that fan in the background with the stock speakers. So I would definitely decide on purchasing any type of sound bar um, and place it in front of you. Um, that way you have some extra sound. Um, and that's what I went ahead and did, and it made the experience of the 
movie or whatever I'm watching ten times better because the simple factor is the speakers aren't good. They're not meant to be. Go ahead and purchase a soundbar, um, especially that way if you have surround sound or anything else um, or anything with Adobe's Atmos. That way you have top movie quality sound for your video um, preferences. Not that you're going to be watching a projector in the daytime, but right now I have all of the lights on in my room. Uh, you can't really make out anything, so just remember that in daytime, if you're trying to watch something in full light, it will not work for you. So if this is a leading factor to get a TV, um, you might get a TV just because you can watch it at all times. Otherwise, you have to be in a very dark room for a projector any time of the day. All right, everybody. So that is the Exelvan projector, 1080p um, projector. I hope this video helped you out um, in deciding if you want to purchase this projector, if you're looking into it, if you already have this projector. Um, if you have any questions, please comment down below. We are here to help you. Um, not that we are not. Uh, we're definitely not sponsored by this company, nor know really much about them yet uh, this is strictly out of our pockets purchase in a customer review um, not that we purchased it through these people we actually found this used um, that is another thing to take into consideration um, but like I said if you can find this projector I would go ahead and give it six stars out of ten I think it is a great budget projector and will work for a movie night or playing video games. Um, whatever you choose to use this projector for, this may be a good buy to purchase um, if you're looking into projectors, especially on the budget scale. If you don't want to spend up to six, um, more even than a thousand dollars, only a hundred dollars, you can buy it, test it out, see if you like it or not. Um, if you want to get into projectors, this might be the, I would call it almost a second step. We have reviewed, um, cheaper options in projectors. Um, those videos will be linked down below on the channel. If you want to go check those out, if you're not ready to spend a hundred dollars, but we're going up the list on prices. So this is our hundred dollar projector, the Exoman. Uh, thank you all for watching this video. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. Give this video a like if this video helped you or if you enjoyed the video. Um, if you have any comments, please comment down below. Thank you all for watching today's tech review and unboxing. I hope you make a decision when you're purchasing your next projector. And this video will help you in your journey.